Now here we go, we're going to make another pineapple plant. Uh, this pineapple I just bought at the grocery store. Now normally I try to buy pineapples that are much more riper than this. This is very green. It's not yellow like I like it. If it was more yellow and I could indent by pushing into it, then I would twist this baby off and, pl and put it in some water. This is rainwater, but I can't. So I'm going to cut this off. Now normally I'd have somebody videotape this for me while I'm doing this, but well, they're inside watching some stupid shows like Dr. Phil and garbage like that. So I don't want to bother them. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut this. I'm going to put this down as I do so. I'm going to make the incision right about here so I have a little bit of leeway. So I can go ahead and put this in the water. So hang on tight. I'm going to do this right now. You'll be able to at least hear it. Because here we go. So I'm cutting into it now. Here we go. Got it cut, didn't take no time. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I took this and I cut it off. Now, this is what I need, that little ring that you see in there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this a little bit. Hang on. Because I wanna be able to fit this in the glass and I don't need all this excess uh, pineapple anyways. Just down the side here. Trip, 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 right on off here. Yeah, this bit more right, you would have twisted off with a very small circumference. Uh, so I'm gonna show you this now. Here we go. So I cut all this off. And now that I'm left with this here. So I believe it's gonna be plenty of room. Yes it is. See that? I put it in the water. So yeah, I'm doing all this in my wheelbarrow. So now I'm gonna keep this in water till it roots. And you wanna make sure when you're picking a pineapple at the, at the grocery store, it's most important that all this is green or as much as possible so that's healthy. So we're gonna go ahead now and let it go ahead and develop roots. I'm gonna take the rest of this pineapple here, and put it into some smoothies in our blender, and go from there. Now, the next video you're gonna see on this is it developing roots and everything. I'm gonna show you this, how to grow this. I'm gonna show you video after video uh, until this thing is actually producing another pineapple off the plant, which of course is gonna take a little bit of time. But stay tuned, because I'm not gonna show you just how to do this and show you some roots. I'm gonna show you this thing grow another plant and then grow a pineapple on the side, which of course will take time. But you're going to see, that's what I'm gonna do. Because all, you, as you all know, I'm very famous for the five gallon bucket garden, which I have done well over 200 of them. And we're gonna do some more. So stay tuned, because we got a lot of work to do on helping you successfully grow things. Now this here, you can quite literally get this in the store, cut off the top like I did, or if it's ripe enough, just twist it off and then put it in water. Now I have rain water because I had a bucket, a couple of them actually, that cut, collected water off my roof uh, inadvertently and I thought, oh good, I'll use it. <laughs> so I have this in rain water and I will keep it full. Whether I use tap water or rain water, makes really no difference and I probably use both. So stay tuned because I've got some more exciting videos of some more things that I'm going to be planting that you're going to find very exciting and interesting. So keep trying to grow your own. Now I understand that I have a couple of fans. One is a nine-year-old boy and a kid, I guess should say it, and another one's a two-year-old who are, are growing um, their own bucket garden. And their mom wrote me and sent me a little comment section. And I just want to tell you guys, you know, kids, keep doing it. You can do this too, and I'll help you. So if you have any questions, you know, write in until you get them answered, and then I'll let you know. But on this particular one, this is gonna be pretty easy. Stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you some more videos and some more exotic plants. We're gonna keep this up. This is gonna be a whole huge series, because I'm gonna keep planting and growing things constantly to show you how to do things. Vegetables, fruits, nut trees, nuts, um, herbs, your fruit trees, of course, your, your uh, berries, like uh, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, all those. Everything that's edible. Uh, how to grow your own pepper plant and all your different types of eggplants, tomatoes, uh, all your different types of hot peppers or normal peppers and everything. Everything you can grow from seed, I'm going to show you. Everything you have to grow from plants, I'm going to show you that too. So stay tuned. And please hit the ads on my, on my uh, YouTube channel to help support because those people that advertise on my channel, they know they want us to be involved with someone doing uh, Christian living and growing plants. 
So they're going to be advertising on that. And if you click on that, uh, that you see on my channel there, before, after, or even during, uh, they'll go ahead and pay a small fee. Um, I don't make a lot of money in this. I make a, just just over 300 bucks a month. But it would, it would definitely help and allow me to do more videos because this costs money. And I had to go buy some 10-10-10 fertilizer for my strawberry plants. And I bought some more seeds for some things I'm going to show you up, up and coming here. So please support me. Tell others about it. Hit the subscribe button if you like it. Hit the like button also. Subscribe button to see more. And then hit the little bell button down there. And it will notify of all the new videos that are coming on. All right. Let's stay tuned. Have a good one. Thanks.